So it's day two in South Africa wine country, and we're at very popular Babylon Storen, uh, which is a, a vineyard, but also a top-notch restaurant, hotel. It's one of the hottest places. Uh, we're actually working to get a reservation here to eat, but it's a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. So here's a tip. Always make your, res your reservations way in advance when coming here, especially in the summertime. Uh, it's beautiful weather out. It's about low 70s now. Yesterday was 80. And, you know, I've been to Napa and Sonoma. I love them both for their own reasons, but South Africa wine country is on a whole different level. A lot of these vineyards have been open for over 300 years, and there are varietals that you're not going to get back in the U.S. One of my favorites, and I think my biggest takeaway, is the Pinot Tage. It is this really robust, delicious red wine uh, that South Africa is known for. Actually, last night at dinner, we even had a Pinot Tage sorbet, which wasn't as good as the real thing, but it was still pretty delicious. Uh, you know, South Africa wine country is much more than just wine. Uh, even if you don't like wine at all, it's just so peaceful. This place, for example, has a whole cheese shop, artisanal breads, there's antique shopping. Yesterday we did the cheetah outreach, which was incredible. We actually got to pet cheetah cubs, there's ostrich farms, olive presses, there's stuff for the whole family, and it's all very casual and cheap. It's only about a dollar to get onto most of the vineyards and four to five dollars to do a tasting. So. Uh, you know, sending the wine back to the U.S. probably isn't as cheap as doing it from Napa or Sonoma, but the whole experience is awesome. So it's only about 30 minutes from downtown Cape Town, uh, depending on where you go. Driving on the other side of the road isn't as difficult as you think, although my one tip is the turning signals aren't on the left. That's the windshield wiper. TPG Managing Editor Eric has been doing most of the driving, and he's driving me crazy, continually putting on the windshield wipers. But... Uh, we've had an incredible time so far. We're going to go try some wine, so we'll be back in a bit.